So I thought I'd get how crazy the world is. <laughs> so the GPS had me turn right. And I, so I ended up at this little store right here. And I walked in, I said, you know what? This is where my GPS brought me. I'm looking for Hog Pond. I said, do you know where, where Hog Pond is? Now think about this. They're 100 yards away. <laughs> and guess what? Just I uh, just had to go another 200 yards and here we are at the Hog Pond Recreational Trailhead. Now, can you imagine working right next <laughs> to the trailhead and not knowing where it's at? I, you know, people, I guess they just, you know, well, if you're not into hiking, I guess, or going to the, I mean, if, if I worked there, I would at least come over here and have a picnic, right? You know, so we're gonna check this out. I might have screwed up, people. I think that they may not have my bug netting with me. And uh, we're down here near Crystal River, you know, and you saw the flies the last time. But uh, we'll see, you know. And I don't know why in the world I took it out of the car. I don't, you know. It, well, you know, I've had so many things going on, you know, working on the car, trying to get the tire pressure sensor done, you know, and all that crap. But let's get on down in here. And, uh, but you can see, if you're looking for this place, uh, there's a Christian Center Church right across the street. Because this entrance is not real well marked. I mean, you can see the sign that are way back in the woods here. If I hadn't had the GPS going, I don't think I would have found this. Uh, and it's just straight down 19 from the Toyota dealer, about five, four or five miles. And of course you got this antique place and a little country store that doesn't even know that there's a trail here right next door. So let's, uh, and also it's where the uh, road narrows down to two lanes. Uh, you can see right back here, it was three lanes and it just narrows down to two. So you can't really miss it that way. All right, let's get going. It's kind of a weird hiking area. Look what some dummy did. Just left the bottle sitting right there. You know, why in the world would you just leave that sitting there? And uh, really weird place to, to park. I mean, the grass was pretty high. You could see it's high here. And I was incorrect. I do have the um, the bug netting. So we are going to get a hike in today. So let's see where to, uh, what we're looking at. And uh, so we are here. Hog Pond Trailhead. You can see here's 19 going right by okay and uh wow you know look there's all kinds of trails you got this, this burnt bridge trailhead and then i would love to see this homosasa fire tower that that would be cool uh here's kind of a a map of what it looks like so and this is the with lakuchi state forest homosasa track okay and uh well, it looks like you could just hike around back here. The only, the only problem is, <clears throat> if you look and see the grass here, it's long in the tooth, and um, so I bet there's going to be chiggers and wood ticks and uh, fleas and you know all that crap. That's why I'm going to go back and put my my hiking pants on and my hiking shoes, and I'll uh, I'll be carrying the bug netting with me, and we'll just get out and just start hiking around. Boy, it just seems like a weird. Uh, parking area here and I uh, I don't know <laughs> why is this fence here I mean I you know all the weird stuff that I see and what are these posts right here for let's get that on the video I mean what's what is the point I mean maybe this is like the old fence but look at these concrete posts going I guess it's to maybe keep cars from driving back in here but that would make sense, I guess, because they're concrete. Uh, but I would think the fence would do that. I mean, who, who's going to take a vehicle through that fence? So, I don't know. Just try to get the weird stuff. And then some idiot over here tied another trash bag to the post. I mean, people are pigs, man. People are pigs. And uh, we're just going to get to hiking. It's going to take me a while to get get myself outfitted for, for, the, for a hike. And I... Uh, if it gets too buggy, too too many flies, or I feel like I'm getting bit by chiggers and ticks and wood um, and uh, fleas, you know, because my legs already look like hamburger from the Big Bass campground, you know, because I I didn't have my hiking pants on there. So let's uh, let's just get going. Well, I was going to show you how we're outfitted, and uh, you know I always try to get the wildlife on the uh, video. I think I scared him. He's moving away. I, 
Look at the size of that turtle. Man, that's a big one. Let's go leave him alone. All right. Up here, let me just show you how I'm outfitted. So we got the pants blossed. We got the hiking shoes on. And I, I got the bug netting in the car. So we're gonna try it. You know, I'm tired of beating, eating alive. And this, this is tick season here in Florida. So if the trail gets uh, too nasty, you know, if I, or I feel like I'm getting bit, but that's the problem, you know. Most of the time I don't know that I'm, I'm getting bit until I get home and there's all these red bug bites all over me, you know. But with the hiking pants on and the hiking shoes, I'm hoping that uh, that'll be good enough to, to keep the bugs off of me. So we'll find out. <clears throat> I wanted to show how we're outfitted today. <laughs> I got the head nut in my pocket. <clears throat> I did remember the gloves. We do have the hiking socks and the hiking shoes on. The pants are bloused. The one thing I forgot, <laughs> and it's not a big deal, is a merino wool shirt. Because it's a hot day and that merino wool breathes a lot easier than these cotton shirts. But uh, did want to show you this, man. Look at that thing. Maybe I'll meet this person while I'm out hiking. I'll tell you what, that is one hell of a pickup truck, isn't it? Man, but the only problem is, yeah, he can go anywhere, but can you imagine the, the fuel economy on that thing? <laughs> All right, let's get going. So for the first hike, I'm gonna try to go down this and let's take a look at what Hog Pond looks like. If I'm reading that sign correctly, we're just going to hike down this, which looks just like a road to me, you know. I suppose it's supposed to be a trail. Uh, not too much shade here at the beginning, but uh, hopefully it, uh, it'll get back in the woods. The good news is, is through here, you know, no, no problem with bugs for sure, you know, because, uh, you know, if you were hiking through this over here, for example, you know they're gonna they're gonna get on you but uh, since we can just stay on this road i'm thinking we're gonna get a nice long hike in i wish it wasn't so hot today you know we've had perfect weather and then the one day that i come to get on the trail hey check it out man there's another turtle look at the size of these guys this is the second one i've seen today let's get him on the video here man look at him that's a monster wow Awesome. Luckily, I'm not scaring him. That's good. We'll get him just a little closer to him. Hey, he's just ignoring me. Look at him. Boy, I, okay, I think he noticed I was there. All right, let's leave him alone. Man, this is unbelievable. I've just started the hike, and this is the third turtle that I've seen today. I don't know if it's good or bad that he's not afraid of me. You know, because... Some evil person, some people like to kill them, you know, just, 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 just because the, you know, it's kind of like, you know, some people just want to burn the house down just to watch it burn. But uh, so far, nice, easy hike. Uh, don't have to worry about bugs. If it stays like this for too long, I'll take this bug netting off and just stuff it in the uh, cargo pocket, pocket of the pants. Because uh, I just don't see a need for it right now. And I, uh, I couldn't, I didn't, don't, don't even have a need for the hiking pants. You know, maybe I, yeah, that's the thing. You know, until you hike a trail, you don't know what you need. You know, here I, when I hiked that, uh, that Crystal Cove trail, for example, remember that day I didn't have my bug netting the first time we attempted it, and uh, so I had to turn around because the flies were all over me, and they were all over me the second time, but I was prepared for them. You know. Um, you know, so that then today, you know, it would have been nice just to leave the tennis shoes on, not put the uh, the long hiking pants on, and just come out here in shorts, you know, for just to, you know, get some exercise and just do the hike. But you can see what I'm seeing, and uh, other than it just being hotter than hell, it's a good, going to be a good hike today. It's always a weird feeling though when you you're leaving your car <laughs> or your motorcycle in the middle of nowhere. You know, uh, I don't think, it, you know, it was only just that one truck there and 
he must be out hiking just like I am. So hopefully, you know, he, I, you know, and if he's got that nice a truck, I don't think he'd mess with my car, other than he might piss him off that he's parked next to a Prius. <laughs> you never know. You never know. All right, let's uh, cut off there because you can see what I'm saying. It's just gonna be a, a, an easy hike if it wasn't so hot. And uh, we'll see. Well, I'll just keep going for about three hours and uh, at least we'll get the pond in and then, uh, you know, like circle back Saki, maybe we'll circle back and uh, hit another trail, hike around back here. Okay. You know, it just occurred to me <laughs> sometimes. Uh, I, uh, shoot, I've gotten pretty far out here, but, uh, you know, I'm not weaponed up at all. So I'm gonna head back. I think there should be some bear spray in the car. If nothing else, I can at least get my walking stick. Uh, you know, that way if a wild pig or something charges me out here, then, uh, you know, at least I can poke him with that walking stick. It does make me feel a lot safer, even though I doubt that would stop a wild pig, but uh, the bear spray certainly would. And, uh, cause you know, as I get way deep out here into the forest, you know, no telling what you might run into. So, you know, I know I'm a fool, but at least, uh, at least a fool admits when he's wrong. And, you know, I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just kind of looked at the trail and thought, you know, it's not going to be that deep into the forest. Now, as we move along, probably another couple hours, you know, there, I'm sure there's bear in here and uh, wild pigs and uh, who knows what else, you know, lots of turtles so far. So uh, let's go back and weapon up a little bit, uh, and then if we, hopefully that bear sprays in my car. I think it, I think it's in my motorcycle. So we'll, at least we'll get the walking stick, and uh, that makes me feel better because you know I always feel like if if something charges me, not a bear. I mean, it won't do no damn good against a bear, but I think I could just you know poke at poke a wild pig and try to uh, you know try to get him in the eye, you know, and uh, at least you know. I'll, I'll have something to defend myself with, you know, so that's uh, that's where we stand I've, The next clip will be in, well for me. It'll be a long time, but for you, you know, you you're watching the video So, you know, I'm I'm just an old fool That's that's me Just telling you sometimes you gotta realize that uh, You know what? <clears throat> Let's go back and get the walking stick you damn fool Thought I'd get this on a video. You can tell the vehicles come back here. So, so more or less a road. I uh, I was correct. The bear sprays in the motorcycle. So all I got just my walking stick for for defense out here. So hopefully I, it's not often I run into anything, but uh, you you never know. I always feel a lot safer with some sort of uh, of protection, you know, and. Uh, we have none today, but at least I did get the walking stick. And uh, you can see it's just kind of going down a road. Now, the good news is, is that when I go back to the dealer uh, for an oil change at five, well, I got to go for, for 5,000 mile and I'll get bumping up close to that. We can come back here and hike, you know, in, in other directions and uh, spend, you know, another whole day here. So far, uh, no bugs. Uh, you know, no flies. Uh, I am seeing some no see -ums right here. You know, I'm, I know you might not know where they are. They're kind of like gnats. You know, from if you're in Virginia, you know, the gnats get on you. So, uh, I uh, I don't know what's wrong today. I mean, maybe I, I'm catching a cold or something, but man, I am just, of course that sun is relentless today. I'm not a cloud in the sky, which is good and bad. And uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just feeling it. I'm feeling, you know, normally when I get out, you know, I'm so excited about the hike and enjoying nature, you know, and just getting out and doing things. It doesn't bother me, you know. You, you see my videos, but today, man, I could lay down right here and just go to sleep. I don't, it just feels like, uh, it just feels like I just got no energy at all. But I'm going to push through it, you know. We're going to at least get to the pond today, I hope. And uh, that'll probably be all I'm going to do. I was really thinking I'd be spending the whole day here, but uh, I'm not gonna do it, man. I, I just, uh, that'll be a good 
two hours of hiking that's enough you know i will come back and uh hit this uh, a lot further uh the next time i come spend a whole day here yeah a lot of no see -ums, you know and that's uh that's about it uh, and we saw the turtles so that was good and uh so more or less you know and i'm glad i got the hikers on you know if you did this in tennis shoes it's kind of kind of rocky on this uh dirt road here so the the hiking shoes have a bit more um padding in them you know so that you you're not tearing your feet and you can always get over here in the grass but uh man i've been eating so much with by the chiggers and everything i'm just going to stay on the road and you could see you could do this in shorts i didn't need to, the hiking pants but it's good to have them on you know at least that way i know for sure i'm not going to be getting any bug bites so let's uh if i see anything interesting we'll get some more video but this is basically what it looks like so not much to it just hiking down a road in the forest all righty peace out there's another turtle thought we get him on the video boy you could really come back here and just hike around now back there there was another road that said private property but i don't see any signs there so you could come back and just make this left right here see where that goes but we're just going to continue on down this road mainly cut on just to get the turtle there and uh not much to it i mean you know it's a great place if it was a if it was a cloudy day or you waited till later in the afternoon you know when the the sun's going down a little bit uh you know this is the three o'clock sun and it's just draining the hell out of me man because it's relentless there's no shade you know that's another bad thing about this hike is no no shade at all i mean we, you know and you can see the vehicles have been back in here so i don't know if that's for for maintenance other than the grass is cut down i guess they must have cut it here sometime you know so maybe these are tractor tracks that uh where they've come back and uh, just kept the grass cut but uh that's about it uh, we'll, we'll wait till we get to the pond or maybe if we see another turtle <laughs> i'll cut the video back on so you can see you know this is after it's been dry for a week or two or well, almost a week now and you see how muddy this is so and boy look at the deer tracks wow bunch of them man where are, where are my hunting friends be going crazy right now but uh yeah i was just going to add this to the video i want to show you how muddy it was uh, so that's another reason for the hikers you know rather than tennis shoes uh, and uh another reason i'm so drained today and i you know it hit me why it's so, so hot there's not a not a breeze stern i mean it's just the air is just like stagnant and humid so you're not even getting the benefit of having a little breeze you know because at least when that blows on you it'll cool you down you know but but uh i'm going to be turning back here soon but i did want to just show you the mud so we at least we got some turtles and uh it was a nothing hike i admit it but uh you know, I'm glad I got out and got a little bit of exercise. And boy, this would be a great, great, great place to come back to. You know, when I got to get the oil changed on the car. I wonder if that's a trail. It looks like it. Let's go down here a ways. Well, at least it's got some shade. Whew. I am feeling it, man. Ah. What is that? That's a plastic bag. See, that's what I'm talking about, people with the trash. You know, everybody gets those darn bags. You know, it's, I think it's going to say posted... Uh, no trespassing let's see what it says posted uh private property yeah so wonder who owns that so we'll uh we'll have to get back on the road i thought maybe we were going to get a little side trail and at least be in the shade but uh oh well you know it's uh i try to stay off of private property if i can you know it's uh you know a lot of people in Florida are pretty heavily armed. <laughs> if you start hiking around on their property, uh, they might not take too kindly to that. <clears throat> so, but we'll just keep on going. Uh, like I said, I'll be turning back here soon, but you, you see what I'm saying. Well, this is different. 
So we're kind of hiking through like a, we got water on both sides, kind of a swamp type feel. And uh, yeah, I see all the water over here. So uh, it looks like they just ran this road right through the, through a swamp. And uh, at least it's a different look. Boy, look at this, this is pretty. Wow, that's kind of, kind of crazy going back this way. And there are probably some gators down there. And, uh, we'll have to keep, keep an eye out. Didn't realize this would get so swampy. But uh, one thing I will say, <laughs> you're way, way back in the forest now. So, and uh, no phone, no communication, just a GoPro and my walking stick. Because I'm an old fool. <laughs> well, at least I'm having fun. I mean, I like I said, it's, it's tough hiking, and I, we've got a li little bit of different look there, rather than just hiking down a road. Well, different look, you know. I mean, you were way, way the hell back in the forest here, you know. I mean, that's uh, looking just swamp going on that way. Probably a bunch of gators in there. And uh, on this side too, and there's, a, there's what we've come down. Huh, I'm gonna turn around here soon. I, uh, boy, I tell you that swamp uh, kinda, it's got that aroma to it. <laughs> you can smell the decaying uh, matter in there. But uh, it's uh, just more of the same. Now then, well, I mean, at least it's a different look of walking through a swamp. So that was pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, I don't think you'd want to do this particular hike right after a rainstorm. Although most of the road has been dry, you know, just, there have been some really muddy parts that we, I've gone through today. Uh, so, but, uh, who knows, you know, this thing may just flood out if, uh, if you had enough rain, because that water's, it's only about six inches below the road here. So we'll keep on going. I don't know what we'll see. I know the, I know the batteries on my walk room just died. That's, uh, and no, I don't have an extra set of batteries. I do like to listen to the radio when I'm, when I'm hiking, but uh, we'll just have to enjoy nature now. All right. Like I said, we're gonna, I'm gonna turn back here soon. I, I just keep hoping that we're gonna, I wanted to make it to that pond so that we could knock out this portion of the trail, but it must be a long ways back in here. I don't, it's one of the bad things about these signs that they have at the at the parks, you know. It'd be nice if they give you the distance. Because I know we've been a couple, two, three miles at least, you know. And nothing, nothing but road. Uh, so maybe that, uh, that pond must be, you know, five, six miles back in here, you know. Love to find out. I'll have to maybe try to find this on the uh, internet when I get home and uh, see how long a hike this really is. So, um, but uh, we'll go on probably another five minutes and then I gotta, I gotta turn back, man. I'm, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I'm so, that sun is just cooking me. Well, that's it for the day. <clears throat> I'm getting a little wobbly. When I get that way, I know I'm done for the day. So, uh, I know we didn't get to the pond, but I did go around a big bend in the road here. So what I'm gonna do when we get back to the sign, I'm hoping it'll show, you know, where we were at on the trail, because it's been pretty straight up until this point. So with this bend here, you know, we could have been real close to that pond. Don't know. I know one thing, I'll be happy to get back to the car today. I Normally I hate, the, hate it when I have to end a hike, but today I, I just, uh, it's 90 degrees, there's no breeze, and for some reason I'm I'm just feeling it today. Alright, so you guys peace out and uh, I'll do the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom. Uh, but maybe we'll get one more video on the sign to try to figure out how far we got, how close I was to the pond. And uh, you know we'll be coming back this way. Uh, Next time I cook it down here, it'll probably be a lot cooler, uh, a lot drier probably. You know, maybe the next time we, we might even have to put on some of the winter gear 
when the next time I'm down in Homosassa because unless there's another problem with the car like I said I got to ring it in for the 5,000 mile checkup so we'll be back down here then that's that's only a couple thousand miles away on the the car I can't believe how many miles I put on the car still got a full tank of gas though <laughs> all right peace out y'all well something big was moving scared the bejeebies out of me I don't know what it was but uh must have been as scared of me as I was of it Whew. but at least uh at least the sun's going down a bit so at least on the hike going back here it's not I'm got getting cooked so badly but uh you know just a for future note if you ever do do this trail you know I would definitely bring a some bear spray or you know if you can concealed carry a weapon back in here you know probably be a lot safer that way and uh, and I wouldn't do it on a, a sunny day or in the middle of the noonday sun like I just did I would uh, wait till the uh, either come out in the early morning or uh, come out in the in the evening when I say evening I'd say if you got started about uh, four o'clock or or maybe even a little earlier that way at least uh, as you get further and further along and the sun won't be directly above you just cooking you because you can see on the way back here at least uh, I'm in the shade and I'm cooling down now and we got a little bit of a breeze so it's actually a very pleasant hike coming back here sorry the hike out was so relentless okay peace out stay free I wanted to get this on the video because the other day I, I saw one of these check them out And I didn't get him on the video, so I wanted to get those. Pretty cool. Boy, you missed it. Pretty sure that was a gator. Right there, right sunning himself right next to the path. Glad he went the opposite way. I'm sure we'll be glad to get back to the car. Whew. Almost done for today. And Look what we got, another turtle. Boy, they move fast, you know. Look at them. Just taking those weeds down, man. Powerful creatures, believe it or not. Yeah, this is it. So I'm going to look at that sign, try to figure out how close I was to the pond. And I uh, just thought I'd get that turtle on the video. Well, look how close we were. Remember I told you there was a big bend in the road? I bet I was right here, right next to the pond. Oh, God, I just didn't feel good today. I don't know what's wrong. But, uh, oh, well, maybe someday when I'm feeling better, we'll go a little further or go this way on the trail, see where that goes. But, uh, well, it's kind of, kind of scary back there, you know. I don't know what that big thing was moving around in the in the swamp and then uh, I'm pretty sure that was a gator right next to the path there so you know do you have to you do have to stay on your toes that's for sure let's get on the road <laughs> 